here's Glenn Beck. <laughs> and he is explaining to all of you. He's on a chalkboard, understand. And he doesn't want to do this. You understand, Glenn Beck is a reluctant prophet, people. And like most reluctant prophets, he has to say, tell you the truth, even though he doesn't want to. So don't make fun of him. He doesn't even want to do this. He just has to because he knows that ISIS is going to take over Europe, which, of course, is going to open the door for Russia to take over Europe with our blessing because we don't want ISIS to take over Europe. Listen to Glenn Beck tell it. Tell it like it is, even though he doesn't want to. In the end, Russia will have Europe because we'll help them take it. So essentially, Russia, Russia versus the caliphate in, trying to divide up Europe, uh, and we are ch stuck choosing the, sides, and I think we, and think we, we pick, choose Russia. We pick Russia. Yeah. We pick Russia, and Russia wins. The caliphate stays down here. Fascist all across Europe. You watch. That's what's coming. That's what's coming. Look, I don't, I don't want to be this guy. I don't want to be the guy. I'm tired of this. I can't tell you how much I want to get away from the damn chalkboard. And I don't want to be the guy telling you the bad news. But it's part of my job. It's part of my calling. And so I will do it. Uh, but it's up to you to spread the word. It's up to you to do with it what you will. I'm, I'm not doing it. I don't care. I don't care. I've moved on from, uh, uh, from being that guy. I don't want to be that guy. But there's nobody else that, will, that sees the world the way I see it. And there's nobody else that will tell you these things. I haven't seen anybody doing it. And so I will tell you. But it's up to you to do with it what you will. I suggest that you watch it, then do your own homework. And if you buy into it, great, prepare. If you don't buy into it, great, dismiss it. There's no reason to call me a kook or anything else. Whatever, fine. I don't want to be this guy. Now, wait a sec. Now, wait a sec. Now, wait a second. Now, wait a second. Now, look, this is important stuff. As many of you know, my sister's been living in Italy for almost 20 years, and I think uh, this could be the last year that she's going to be living there full time. So I am trying to see if we can go, uh, Nikki and me and the kids can go to Italy. It'll be our first like big trip as a family. And, and uh, so what is important to take away from this is that w what's going to happen to the euro versus the dollar if the caliphate comes? That's the first thing that I want to know. Secondly, let me just tell you folks something else. I don't want to be this guy, okay? I don't want to be the guy who has to say uh, all the time, Glenn Beck is completely out of his mind. <laughs> and that the idea of uh, ISIS, I guess presumably they'll do this by horseback or a couple of uh, tanks, so riding up, I guess maybe they'll come up through Turkey, into Europe or through the ISIS to Libya, the boat ride from Libya to right. Italy. They're that's gonna have the, main the ISIS point. Navy, and that's how they're gonna attack the underside. That's how they'll get to Spain. And then they'll swing around Spain to attack through the uh, through the, the English Channel. And uh, all England, I don't I think England probably taken over France, definitely, definitely France. They probably they're probably halfway already there. Uh, to uh, complete control so by you ISIS. Take the country, Germany. So much more masculine than us. <clears throat> those Ger <laughs> the Germans given up. Uh, they're they're practically yeah. they're practically the caliphate. But you continue this solar and so power. Then uh, Russia will come in. Of course, we're going to help Russia, uh, and just you know because we don't want the caliphate in Europe because. Um, then it's going to just be like, wait, we can't go. Uh, for, uh, are we allowed to still have wine in France? And you know what's going to happen to all the good uh, Bordeaux because the caliphate's not going to allow for wine. So yes, of course. And just I'm making fun of uh, uh, of of Beck, but look, um, I, I, it's just because I, it's my calling. <laughs> it's my calling now. Wait. 
Now, for those of you, I know Michael sitting over there going like, oh, this is going to mean that uh, Obama is not a secret Muslim anymore. Well, what, what, what Beck is not telling you is that uh, when we decide to join up with Russia to defeat the caliphate, uh, Obama's gone. In fact, there's a good chance that it will be fighting President Imam uh, Obama, who will be the head of all of the European caliphate, and we'll be fighting him with uh, Putin. No, you have it wrong. See, because Russia and Iran are allied. And as I keep saying, the thing with Obama is that he's a Shia, not a Sunni. So you're going to see a Shia-Russia alliance that you think is defeating the caliphate, and then they're going to reveal the real caliphate. Caliphate part two. Caliphate part two, the Putin-Obama-Iran edition. Caliphate, right. Boom. Okay. I got to say, no one sees the world quite like you two. But, you know, here's the thing. And, and let me just say this. What's it? <laughs> this is ever. the time right now, folks, if you ever contemplated buying a, um, a, a condo in the, the Caribbean, this would be the time uh, to do it now. Because, of course, nobody's going to be able to go to Europe for vacation because you're not going to go to the caliphate. <laughs> so, No, actually, that's... It's that's my, my calling! <laughs> Does it? This going to affect mine because you're going to Italy. I probably will be going back to the Caribbean sometime soon. So is this going to affect <laughs> plane prices for me or is this just more of an Italy concern? And then, you know, on your end, Matt, Monster Energy drinks are a globally produced product. So you got to right. consider how this is going to affect your life as well. You're not out of this, buddy, just because you don't travel as much. I just I personally feel that when. Either during the, 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 the caliphate that controls Europe or when uh, Russia controls Europe, this is going to help U.S. manufacturing. Okay. In the, uh, We're still trying to work that bug out. <laughs> <laughs> the last thing that uh, I want fundamentally is when we're doing the Russia-Iran uh, secret caliphate deal is that somehow it helps some American workers because I don't want these lazy... Uh, American swine getting anything. This is uh, this is a perfect example of uh, the intelligence of libertarians. The unintended consequences of the caliphate and <laughs> and uh, yep. rampant fascism. Okay, uh, let's go to the phone. You call him from a two one zero area code. I got one court for you, and that court I cut your hands off no matter what. <laughs> How's about that? 